All right, this is a wisdom key, and it's all about forgiveness. And forgiveness is really a gift that you give yourself. Forgiveness is not something you do for the other person or for another. Forgiveness is looking someone in the eye or perhaps seeing them in your mind and deciding that you will no longer hold them um, accountable for actions that they took or things that they did. Forgiveness doesn't mean that they automatically, you know, get a, um, you know, a, a pass card back to your heart. Um, it simply means that you're saying, I'm going to give you an opportunity to try again. I'm going to give you an opportunity to not really to make amends, because if you're expecting people to make amends, then it's not true forgiveness. You know, the, the master teacher said, was asked the question, you know, how many times should I forgive my brother? Should I forgive him seven times in a day? And he reacted and he responded by saying, no, you should forgive 70 times seven. Now, it's not about the numbers. Don't get hung up with the numbers. But the point he was making was that you shouldn't count. You shouldn't count because love has to love. And every time you refuse to forgive, you've taken yourself away from a state of love. And if you're not in a state of love, you're not your real self. So forgiveness is really a gift you give yourself to allow you to go back to the state that you were created to be in, and that is a state of love. You see, when you're in a state of love, you have no fear. When you're in a state of love, you have no pain. When you're in a state of love, you simply have to love. And I can say this, that love conquers all things. So whatever you're going through, forgive. The first person you have to forgive is yourself. Very difficult sometimes, but make a decision to forgive yourself. The next is then to forgive anyone who has said or done something against you. Love, whatever happens, 